Let's start with this breaking news. Amanda's in custody after a standoff in Cowpens. We're told it started when shots were fired during an eviction notice this morning. 7 News' Henry Coburn was there and has the latest information from the sheriff. 7 News was first on the scene this morning to the standoff in what neighbors say is a very quiet and peaceful area. The sheriff tells us that the standoff began when an eviction process that started peacefully went awry. It just goes to show you that it doesn't really matter what the call is. Things can change in just a, really a second. Sheriff Chuck Wright says his deputies were assisting a maintenance crew with an eviction at this house on Santee Street in Cowpens. He says it started off routine by the books, but then the man told deputies he needed his cell phone from inside. That's when deputies say the man started shooting. <laughs> The standoff lasted several hours, but came to a close without deputies firing their weapons or getting injured. Wright credits all law enforcement involved for the outcome, but says the tactics and thinking by one deputy in particular is admirable. In this situation, we just simply backed away, you know, and um, thank, I'm just thankful that um, our deputy, Lynn Hayes, you know, she has got a lot of savvy to her, and she's a smart girl, and she cares about people, so getting out of the way and letting, just letting it settle for a minute probably helped more than anything. Now again, no deputies were injured in today's standoff. The suspect was taken to the hospital with injuries. Now the sheriff says that suspect will be charged at least with attempted murder. We're now in Cowpens, Henry Coburn, 7 News. And deputies say the man in the house needed to go to the hospital for a self-inflicted gunshot wound.